An hour before midnight according to Big Ben's time, the United Kingdom will officially leave the EU, bringing to an end 47 years of gradual economic and political integration. In Brussels, Brexit Party MEP Nigel Farage reveled in his victory with one last act of defiance. I know you want to ban our national flags, but we're going to wave you goodbye and we'll look forward in the future to working with you as sovereign. If you disobey the rules, you get cut off. Could we please remove the flags? But among the majority of representatives, the mood was one of regret. Tearful moments accompanied a chorus of old Lang Syne. I think it was a very emotional session uh, of, the, uh, of the Parliament. I've never seen such an emotion uh, in this uh, Parliament. So everybody uh, will miss uh, yeah, the, the British representatives, not all British representatives, for example. I don't think that we will miss Mr Farage, but uh, all the others, yes. As the UK enters a year-long transition period, with tough trade negotiations between London and Brussels on the horizon, not much will actually change overnight. But many, particularly the young, hope the UK will one day rejoin the EU. In the 2016 referendum, 52% of the United Kingdom as a whole voted to leave the EU. England and Wales were in favour of Brexit, but Scotland and Northern Ireland wanted to remain. For separatists in the semi-devolved parliaments of Edinburgh and Belfast, Brexit presents an opportunity to pursue self-governance. Scotland held an independence referendum in 2014, which favoured the union with Britain. But Brexit has revived calls for a second vote. Brexit and everything that will flow from it is happening against the will of the vast majority of the Scottish people. It is an affront to democracy. And of course, it represents a material change of circumstances from those that we faced in the 2014 independence referendum. Prime Minister Boris Johnson, who championed leaving the EU, has argued, perhaps paradoxically, that Scotland is better off in the UK. In Northern Ireland, Sinn Féin Republicans see an opportunity that has until now been unthinkable. The days of partition are numbered. Change is in the air. Brexit has changed everything. Many people for the first time are now considering their future in a united Ireland. Some fear that the potential of a hard border in Northern Ireland could even reignite old animosities between Republicans and Unionists. Britain, upon whose empire the sun once never set, is now itself in danger of breaking up. With separatist sentiments growing in Scotland and Northern Ireland, is Great Britain still great enough to hold together? Adam Pletz, The Newsmakers. <laughs>